So today we're going to be making corned beef and cabbage in a Dutch oven. So what you're going to need for this recipe is some carrots. You're going to need some sort of chili paste, a whole onion, some potatoes, a head of cabbage, a nice piece of corned beef, that one's four pounds, some red wine vinegar, some Worcestershire sauce, and some beef broth. So first thing you're going to do is poke holes in the potato. This is so they uh, cook evenly and don't explode. Then you're going to cut the oven, or the oven, cut the onion up into pieces about this size. Good luck cutting your oven up. Then you're going to place the potatoes into the Dutch oven like so and make a bed for the uh, corned beef. Put in your carrots and put in your sliced onion. Now we're going to go ahead and take the nice piece of beef and just kind of place it in there and we're going to set this to the side. Now we're going to mix the liquids together. We're going to do one cup of the broth. We're going to do a cup and a half of the red wine vinegar. And we're going to do one cup of just standard water. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the third of a cup of Worcestershire sauce in there and a third of a cup of the chili paste. Now you're going to go ahead and give this a really nice stir so your ingredients all get mixed together. And now we're going to take this concoction and we're going to dump it over the uh, piece of beef and make sure you don't spill. Um, but make sure you get it on top of the beef, not to the sides. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and uh, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to put some bay leaves on there, which is optional, but I prefer to do that. We're going to cover it up, and we're going to stick it in the oven for two and a half hours at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we'll be right back for the next step where we add the cabbage. So now we're going to cut the cabbage up into eighths, like so. And after two and a half hours, we're going to take the Dutch oven out. We're going to flip the corned beef over, and we're going to add the cabbage. And the cabbage only cooks for 30 minutes, so... That's what we're going to do, place the cabbage in there, put the lid back on, and put it back in the oven for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, it's been total three hours cook time at 350. It's done. We're going to take the beef out, put it on a plate, let it rest for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to slice it up into about one-inch slices against the grain. So as you see right there, oh, it looks so good, and let me tell you it was. So we're going to go ahead and get this cut up. And then we're going to plate it with the potatoes, the carrots, the onions, and the cabbage. And that is a wonderful meal for St. Patrick's Day.